Check it out, fam. Here with the familia. Hey, tia Mita. <laughs> my bros back there got Moski and Bobby, aka Rolling with me. That's my uncle Juan, Primo, and then uh, there goes Johnny up there. And then it's Tiffany. We all know Tiffany. Look how beautiful it is out here. Wow. Mo, are you gonna get stranded on an island again? Bro, let's do it. Overnight challenge part three. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my God. But look how shallow this water is. So shallow. Hey, there's a little island over there you can walk to. See that? I might walk over there with you. Oh, be careful. It's really deep. Be, be really careful. Oh. That is pretty thick. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. I think these are called hermit crabs. See, they're hermit crab or Thank we are. Oh, look, look, it's about to pinch you. Oh, he really is, actually. He's like. Hey, oh. what's up, bro? Oh. Hi. Aw. Put on your boobies. <laughs> oh, fuck, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> so, one time I was out here barefoot and I stepped on a sea urchin. It kind of felt like I stepped on a, like a sharp rock and I noticed there was nothing underneath. And yeah, it had like these little like pointers, I don't know, it's like little splinters. What happened? I won't believe what I just found no, on the island. island. What'd you just find? Two graves. Graves? Okay, I always come out to this island, but I did not know that there was some graves. Perhaps somebody buried like a loved one. It could be like cremated remains, or it could just be some clickbait from Mo Sarji. Ooh. You've never seen that before? Okay, I have seen one of them. But there's one that's new. I thought it was maybe a memorial. And maybe it's a memorial. Maybe somebody actually did get buried here. Or maybe somebody died and they spread their ashes right here. Yeah, gone but not forgotten. Rest in peace, guys. So this is probably one of their favorite places to go. I mean, I, like I told my, my family here, this is a place where like it just fills up with a ton of boats and jet skis over the weekend. So a lot of people love this area. It's called the Flats. I don't think the island itself has a name. Or maybe it does. Call it Momar Island. I want some of these rocks, like for landscaping. I know they're nice. If I were to take one and put it in my boat, though, my boat would probably sink. <laughs> this is like really heavy limestone. I'm gonna try to pick one up. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. This is the only reason I want to own Crocs <laughs> is like right now. Yeah. Walking uh, barefoot through the water. Your feet probably hurt right now, huh? They're like. <laughs> you know the movie Idiocracy, right? I love that movie. Do you realize that in that movie? The director was like, I want to find the stupidest looking shoes that only like idiots would wear. And then he, he used them the entire movie. Everyone was wearing Crocs. Was kind of, wait, they were wearing Crocs in that movie? I never noticed that. They were only wearing, they were wearing Crocs. <laughs> Here, let's take a picture. It's, it's like, all right, it's, all right. Three, two, one. Why isn't it working? Maybe it, it is working. Video. I think you're on a video <laughs> and you're live. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really trust this guy by now? You should know him by now. <laughs> I don't know what's over here. I don't know, but I'm going to try to walk, but it hurts. Oh, there's little crabs. Look at him. Oh. You got this, bro. Oh, I know I do. Oh. You just got to walk really fast. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Watch out for the nails. There's nails? <laughs> I've had a nail through my foot before. Ow. Ow. Ah, I just broke my neck. Ah. Okay. I can walk over here because I got shoes on. Yeah, I've never been a Croc fan. I mean, I've been a fan of Crocs, like real Crocs, but like not the shoes. And my kids wear them all the time, especially my son Max. And I'll tell you what, they're really good if you're uh, if you're going in water, if uh, you live on a farm, you're always getting your feet wet. I don't know what this green stuff is. Probably algae. Look like little tadpoles. Okay, I'm sure there's somebody asking the question, are there sharks out here? 100%. <laughs> oh but my gosh. I've never personally seen one. I've seen videos of like black tip sharks out here. Not far from where we launch our boat, like, you know, on the trailer. We did catch a, I think it was a hammerhead shark, but it was a small like baby. My friend, I didn't catch him, but a friend of mine that was with us caught him. <laughs> <laughs> Still not past the rocks. It's good uh, exercise for okay, your feet. I think, I think we're good now. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, much better. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, are you okay? Did you just fall? Yeah. Oh, no. Look at this guy. Yeah. Hey, how deep are we? It's only about eight feet. Oh, it's about eight feet? Okay. So we're out in the middle of the ocean now. Can't see land. Uh, well, I guess you could see it a little bit. Uh, we're, we're a little far out. We're gonna do a little fishing. We're using Moa's bait. <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's crazy. 
Oh, oh, yeah. You're like a, you're like a chicken nugget. Oh, shark! Oh, shit. <laughs> and so, a little while ago, I was kind of messing in the sand and I felt like a prick. And you know what? I'm thinking when I was talking about the sea urchin thing, I think it was probably a, a horseshoe crab because it felt like the same pinch. And yeah, it got me. It was a horseshoe crab. It was a little baby horseshoe crab. Hey, Johnny's hey. first time. That was a good catch. Yeah. Look who's having fun fishing. I got one fish so far. So, me and Johnny are both like. Experts now. One. Yeah, we're experts now. Look at that. Holy. Wow. Dog it on me. Uh oh. Uncle Juan got something oh. big. Oh no, the boat's sinking. Yeah. It is. Go on that side. Go on the other side. Oh yeah, go everyone go back. Oh my god. Oh I see it. I see it. What is it? I don't know. It's, it looks big though. Come on. Oh, it's it's way over there. Wait. It's something big, dude. Oh, wait. oh it's a shark. Oh, I saw a fish. I saw a fin, guys. I swear to God, it's a shark. Hey, Mo, just jump in there and grab them. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, there, there, there's something attached to that. Oh, yeah, bro. Probably a tire. <laughs> is it fighting? Yeah, it is totally fighting. Okay. So it's not a rock, it's actually a fish. It is my fish. You know what, again, I was getting credit. <laughs> hey, hold up. <laughs> You're getting credit. Hold on. You don't feel anything giving you I don't feel anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been fighting for a while, if anything. It was a rock. Oh, look how twisted oh, this is. Look how twisted this is. Yeah. That was the most excitement we had. That was the best rock ever. <laughs> Man, you see that boat right there? That is the boat that rescued Mo and I when we got stranded on an island. Oh. oh gosh, you guys scared us. Okay, bad news. I just came out. Been gone for a couple hours with my family. And I came back to this chicken. She doesn't look like she's in good shape. Uh, I found her alive, but she was laying in an ant pile. Um, that's why she's all wet right now. I just had to run water on her and try to get all the ants and their fire ants. I tried to get all of them. There were fire ants? There were fire ants <gasps> all over her. No. Yeah, so she must have got out. I thought maybe the dogs hurt her, but, you know, I don't see any bite marks or anything like that. I think, if anything, the dogs were trying to protect her or whatever. But when I picked her up, my hands were, like, itching like crazy. And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't think anything of it. And then I look at her, and she was covered no. in fire ants. Yeah, oh, look, she's all bit up back here. She was really wet, like if the dogs were licking her. You like think I, they were trying to get the end? Maybe they were trying to get the end, and then they left her. And they were like, nah, this uh, this licking is uh, biting me back. Uh, I don't think she's going to make it. No. Yeah, she's got her eyes closed. We're going to take her in the house, put a chicken in the shower again. Keep you updated. I believe she was right over here. But I don't see ants over here. Maybe the ants were just... Oh, right here is a bunch of ants. Yeah. Aww. All right. Look at this little girl. I don't know if she's going to make it through the night. I really hope she does, though. I think she's in, like, a state of shock. Let me see her. Like, she looks worse than... Sister Mary Clarence did. Okay, good news. Our chicken from last night, she looks a little bit better, but she's not 100%. Here, let me show you. Hi, baby. How you doing? So, I mean, she's kind of moving around a little bit. We put some fruit in there for her. Oh, God, another ant? Does she still have ants? I just saw an ant crawling on her. Oh, my God. I need to check her. Okay, so I didn't see any more ants on her when I checked her out right now. I think I'm gonna get her outside, get some vitamins. I do have some vitamins that I gave Sister Mary Clarence when she was sick, and it seemed to help her out a lot. But I do need to get her outside so I can get some of this. Uh, it's a it's a really good pesticide. It's called, I, don't, I never could say the name. It's called Damacactus or Damacactus Earth or something like that. It's very toxic to ants and any kind of insects anything with an exoskeleton but it's actually good for i mean it's safe for humans and animals so a lot of farmers use this stuff it's in a powder form and it's all natural and it works really well against ants and other insects she looks so weak i feel so bad for her but maybe I don't know, i'm gonna try to see how she does around her sisters if she doesn't look good i'm gonna bring her back in and and keep her indoors for for a couple days baby girl you know what she does not have a name i think i'm gonna call her baby girl hey baby girl why don't you tell the fam how you just took a poopy on daddy's foot yeah she did i picked her up and 
dropped a big turd right on my foot. Even though it sucked, it is good because, like Tiffany said, her bowels are working. And, you know, it wasn't, it was a good poopy. Definitely might keep her inside. She just keeps sleeping on me. I feel so bad for her. But I do want to get some vitamins in her and uh, let's see how she does. I'm going to put her around her sisters just for like a millisecond. Poor baby. I feel so bad for her. If she goes right there. I'm going to let out her sisters. Come on, guys. Want to come on play? Yeah, I'm definitely going to get her in the house. What I usually do is I put like... <laughs> I put like quite a bit of this and I'll mix it in with a little bit of sand or dirt. And the chickens will take a bath in it. And it helps to keep like mites off of them, fleas, any kind of bugs, ants. Oh, she walked in here all on her own. But hey, one of my roosters, I think it's this guy. He did a cockadoodle do yesterday, caught me off guard. Hey, you be nice. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely have to get her. Okay, being that baby girl went in her box a couple times. I'm just gonna put her here in the shower. So she did drink a little bit of water. I got that earth stuff on her make sure it kills whatever two or three ants are still left on her that I couldn't find alright fam so we are here with Mo hey. and he's always getting his espresso shots here at Starbucks well they kind of messed up Sorry about that. so it's um, four ice shots they're getting that for you it's just gonna be four times the time yeah I do gotta pay for it I don't know if it's working oh, tap the, the, the chip the chip oh okay I'm sorry ah. put it in bro that's what she said sorry for some Oh, okay, thanks. It's Canadian. It's ah, a Canadian card. <laughs> I'll take a straw. No offense to Canadians. I don't mean that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, no offense. This is like a dumb American machine. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, they messed up and gave Mo a blonde espresso. It's a four shot of espresso. Okay, that's the right espresso. So, they gave they gave Tiffany the blonde espresso. Well, that's not good. So good. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so this so is the blonde espresso. They gave him a blonde at first. He didn't want a blonde. He wanted a brunette. I like brunette. <laughs> so they gave the blonde to the blonde for free. For whatever reason, he feels the need to film me drinking. Most said it's you, gross. You need to chug it. Yeah, the blonde one, I'm not a fan of it. Try the blonde and then try this one. <laughs> it tastes like burnt toast. Alright, try burnt this one. Like over burnt, like cooked your toast. Alright, now taste this one. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> stronger, right? Much stronger. That's <laughs> disgusting. How do you crave that? I don't know. It's like when a smoker needs a cigarette, <clears throat> I need my espresso. Uh, Let me try the blonde. Hold on. Uh, that one's a little smoother than the brunette. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not. I'm not acting. That is actually disgusting. No, that is disgusting. No, this is amazing. No, that this tastes is, like. I don't even know how to explain that. This has got like a smoky taste. This is awesome. Yeah, it's burnt. They're probably both disgusting. Mm. Yeah. I want to try the blonde one. Try the blonde. Bro, you got to try mine too. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Uh, okay, now try this. That tastes, tastes like, like pee, -pee. Toast. <laughs> That one is so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yours is way worse than this one. Yeah. Like I said, both disgusting. But it was if you're looking time. for a burst of energy, like this guy is always like has Whoa! Yeah. Oh, there you go. Like there that. Go. <laughs> it's because of the espresso. My heart's like racing right now. Yeah, you're gonna be wired off those two little sips. I'm very caffeine sensitive. I usually drink decaf coffee. Here at the hay store, look at the size of this thing my animals are getting. If you got room for something like this, works. And it lasts a long time. Whoa. I didn't know you could use a forklift for that. I guess you can. How much you think this weighs? Uh, probably south 700, 800 pounds. Seven, 800 pounds? Dang. I say so. Woo. Fits right in there. Hey, so check it out. Driving my truck again. Remember we broke down a couple days ago? My truck broke down in the middle of the road. We're like raining hay back there. I feel bad for all these cars behind me. What's going on here? So someone's got their dog in the in the car or the truck and someone's sleeping. <laughs> what is going on? Either they're dead, drunk, or asleep, dude. I Look think they're that. dead. It looks like a kid. Yeah. They're probably like, yeah, I just want to lay down back there. But like, he's got a blanket, a red blanket. I wonder what's going to happen when he takes the turn. <laughs> it's going to hit his head. There's no seatbelts back there. All right, we got to document this. 
Please take that turn hard. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> I know I'm mean. She's like, why are these guys filming me? <laughs> she's, you know, she's looking at us in the mirror. I don't care. <laughs> Did they, if they flipped over. <laughs> they flipped Did they? Over. <laughs> you can't see their head anymore. Okay, so I didn't want to do this until the house was complete because it's getting there. We've come a long way in two years, but it's starting to look like a house now. Check it out. This is our house. Those are the colors we picked out two years ago. We got some lights going on now. The inside is, I mean, we're just what? Missing carpet, mm -hmm. some details to the cabinets. They're saying that they're going to be probably done in about a month or so. I don't know. For me, I, I'm thinking maybe two to three months realistically. What do you think, Mo? I just want to say thank you so much to Omar. Um, you know, if, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't own such a beautiful house. He built this all for me. Um, it was a good gift. Thank you so much. We, it was a challenge we did off camera. I won the house fair and square. <laughs> it's a beautiful house. There is a room for him though. Yeah. So they just put these lights in. These are like some really cool barn lights. Still missing some soffits, which is fine, so but. This might happen at some point. Huh. I'll let you guys know. Oh, I'm walking, walking. Boom! Those lights, they're like colored lights. Uh, well, I mean, you could change the color of them. They're like yeah. the smart lights. Oh, the LED smart ones. Those yeah. Cool. And then we got these lanterns. See, it doesn't look bad, babe, with the bulbs. No. Yeah. She was worried it would look weird. Yeah. Ooh. So we got the floors done. We're, you know, missing carpet. Oh, there's the bulbs for that. Thank there's the good. fans. The fans came with lights. Looking good. I love that fan. So I kind of did a thing. The electricians were here earlier, you know, hanging the ceiling fans and stuff. I'm like, hey, look, if I give you a couple extra bucks, can you do me a solid? They said, yeah. And I was like, look, I got these. I know you already put these in, but can you change them out for the USB joints? Because they come in handy, you know, to plug in like your phones and stuff. But man, it looks so nice in here. Hey, you know what I love about this kitchen? Is you made this island from this counter very far. Yeah. It's like a lot of my room. home, um, my island is about this much to this much. It's about this much room, yeah. So, so it's good that you made it wider. Does wider. that mean that you're an island boy? I'm an island boy. <laughs> Yo, those are the best musicians, so freaking talented in the world. This is Boston's room right here. So we're coming a long way. They broke it. They broke what? It's broken. Yeah. It's oh, the cabinet? Yeah, the cabinet view, we gotta come back. Place uh, got our tile done in, in here. I like that tile. Mm -hmm. This is uh, like a guest room. I made it for Max, but I don't think Max is gonna be moving in here. He's gonna be 20 years old and wants to get his own place. Yeah, it's not good. Well, sorry, you will take it. Yeah. Oh, let me see the garage lights. Oh, yeah. So we did give him some garage lights too. Oh, yeah. Okay. They came out nice. Yeah, what? that attic is big too. Can I go up there? Yeah, go for it. Just gotta make sure you walk on the on the actual haunted? like. Uh, is there a ghost up here? It's well, not haunted. Go up in there, but, but I don't know. That's cool. Really cool. But check it out. It's my future Tesla charger. Oh, that's like, sick. Yeah. I thought ahead, and I added that. So yeah, that's a 50 amp. Actually, I could even plug up my RV right here too if I wanted to. I've never seen a garage built like this. What's up with these? I don't know. I've never seen that either. Because usually it's just this part. I'll tell you what though, this garage is heavy. You think maybe because of hurricanes and stuff? No. It's like extra support. No, I think it's maybe it's a new code. It could be. I've never seen that before. Wind load. I think it is for hurricanes. Oh, it's for hurricanes. Yeah, I knew it. It had, has to be wind load, universal wind load, flush spacing. Oh, okay. It's yeah, that's the that's the first time I see that too. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's gotta be for hurricanes. That's pretty cool. It's like extra support. Yeah. Because think about it, these things are super weak, right? Yeah. They literally you easily punch through that. And if these things are here, the hurricane's not gonna blow through that. Right? Try to lift that. Is it liftable? Yeah. Like it's not heavy. It's kinda heavy. It's I mean some way to it, but I mean it's aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> That's the house. It looks like it's about 90% done, which is great. They still got to add like this molding to the top of the cabinets. One of my cabinets was like messed up. I wasn't happy about this. I believe it was this one. Yeah, it's like kind of peeling off in there. But I, I am super grateful that the house has come a long way. I didn't pay a lot of money for this house, which I mean, it was good and bad, but bad because we had to wait so long for it to be built. But 
I'm glad. I'm glad that it's almost done. And we get to finally, like, get out of the camper. Like, I love my camper, but I, uh, the bed's uncomfortable in there. It's really tight. We have no closet space. We don't have a washer and dryer. We don't have a garbage can. Like, it's been rough. So it's going to be nice. All right. Now we have to try to unload this bad boy. That's going to be a lot of fun. Good thing I got these guys to help. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the fun part is trying to get in there while the animals are trying to get out. Got to turn off the electricity, which is, it's just a solar power. I'll distract the animals and I'll take them over there. <laughs> they want nothing to do with Mo. <laughs> it only works with food. Oh, they do follow Tiffany around, look at that. They know their master. All the animals are over there too. Like all of them. All right, let me get up in here. Look at Miss Piggy. I think they're gonna get fed. Hi Mona, Rena, and Lily. Okay, now all the animals are surrounding my truck. Don't wanna run over any of these guys. All right. We get in there, we get in there. Woo! Now I'm just gonna back it up right to the barn and we're gonna roll that bad boy in. Sometimes I use my tractor, but my tractor does not fit in the barn. So we do have to manually put it in. I, I like having the hay inside the barn because it stays dry. I'm gonna back it up a little bit more. All right, there's no animals in the way, right? Oh, there's a pig in front of you, hold on. That pig about to become some bacon. All right, it's gone. Uh, I got an idea. What? Babe, you need to watch out though. <laughs> you gonna try to get it all, all in one hole? I guess we got a couple uh, couple poopies there too. We got poop in the way and we got a dog in the way. You heard the, you heard it? Yeah, the rooster. It almost sounded fake. He's like, eh, eh, eh. Let's see. I know exactly what he's saying. He's gonna try to roll it in. One shot. He's gonna slam on his Okay, head. enough, enough. Oh. There goes the side. Oh! Hole in one, baby! <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> that was good. Hole in one. All right, here we go. What is that? Is it rolling? Yeah, this is fine. It's getting it up. Oh no, it's getting full of poop. Mm -hmm. Manpower! Manpower! You're gonna see <laughs> how difficult it is. One, two, three. Run the power! Oh, Super Saiyan. There we go. All right. It's a little crooked, but. That's what she said. It still works. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Is that good? You guys want some hay? You guys want some hay? Yeah, there you go. Have some. Oh, yeah. Come here, Rena. They're loving it. He's feeding the cows, baby. <laughs> Look at Gracie trying to eat hay, too. I know. She's like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> oh. That one tastes so yummy. That one tastes so, so yummy. Why do you do weird stuff? Is he eating hay? <laughs> like, why does that taste so good to them? I don't know, maybe just, just how God made it, you know, it's their food, right? It's kind of like how beef tastes so good to us. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just had a nice steak, just to let you know, like, it was so good. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Come here, Lily. You have a pet? Pet? Give me a pet. A pet. No? Okay. Only one friendly is my llama. So every day, I come out here, I count my chickens, Make sure they're not missing. We have 25 total. I kept counting them. It's hard to count these guys because they don't always stay still. So as I'm counting them, I'm like, 24, 20. We have 25 chickens. I'm like, one is missing. Oh my God. We start looking because I see white feathers all over the place. And I'm pretty sure it's because of one of the ducks. Like they're always like molting or something. And then I got to thinking, we have a chicken in the house. Well, I mean, you reminded me. She was like, the chicken in the bathroom, you know? The chicken in the shower. And she's doing good. I just checked up on her a little bit ago. She's she's making some improvement. We're gonna still have to monitor maybe a couple more days. I think they fight, like, with each other. And they pull each other's feathers out. Look at all these feathers. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. Got Mo on the front there. <laughs> My neighbors putting his airboat together and he needed my tractor for a second. What happened? Are you all right? No, I didn't. I thought you I thought you wanted to get off. No, I just jumped off. Oh, okay, you all right? You scared me. Check it out, fam. It's my buddy's airboat. He's gonna take us on it soon. 
But yeah, we're gonna be lifting that. That's the frame, and we're gonna be putting it inside of the actual boat over there. It's my homie Phil, one of my best buds. So yeah, we're just adjusting the forks right now. Okay, we're gonna go underneath the frame. Let me lift this guy up here. All right, you're gonna have to tell me where to go, buddy. I'm scared. So we're gonna instead push this all the way over there. <laughs> all right, let's do this. We got it. Uh, to these two runners. Uh huh. That runner goes to this outside. That runner goes to that outside. <laughs> Tiffany joined the party. I have no idea what they're saying. I kind of feel bad I'm not out there helping them. I guess I'm helping them in here, you know? Almost got it. Check it out, fam. Wow, we did man. it. Bolted down. Perfect. So Mo's plane got delayed. Actually, it got canceled yesterday. And you know what's crazy is his wife is super pregnant. Like, oh, no. She sent him a picture a little bit ago of her in the hospital, and he almost had a heart attack. Oh, man. Well, I thought she was having a baby. You thought she was having the baby, huh? Yeah. There's the picture right there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Literally, like... Uh, she sends me that and doesn't send contacts. I'm like, oh no, she's having a baby. This is not good. <laughs> I just, I completely rid off my life at that point. Oh, man. <laughs> and then she's like, no, I'm just getting a test done. Everything's good, thank God. She's she's due for her time, July 15th. Okay, good. Yep. And we caught a flight tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. isn't bad. Yeah, I know, it's not bad. But uh, Mo loves going on adventures. Mm -hmm. And my dad does too. So I was like, hey, I'm going to bring them somewhere adventurous. Like, I couldn't believe I... I we kept like thinking, what would be a great place to take them? Wait till you see where we're going right now. You're gonna love it. Disneyland. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it's in Orlando, Florida, not far from Disney. Actually, it's Disney World. Disney World. Oh yeah, it's even World. better. Yeah. Oh, poor snaky snake. Is that a poisonous snake? Um, no, that's a black racer. Wait, are we sure? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. We're like in a tropical paradise. This is my brother, Matthew. How's it going, buddy? Good. This is one of my favorite trees in oh, South Florida. They don't have them a lot in Central Florida. Yeah. How come you don't see these in Tampa very much, though? Well, in Key West, have, a lot of, have, lot of Key West. You know how these trees get water? They bring down their straws. Oh. And they dip them into the water, and that's how they get fed. I think those are different trees, though, that's connected to that. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> Hear the parrot? Are those real? I thought it was a speaker system. No, there really is a parrot. <laughs> That's so cool. Ooh. My crocs are a little dirty because I was on the farm this morning. Probably some Mona poopy on there. Oh, yeah. Mm. That was good. Look at the pretty birdies. Oh, my goodness. Those are macaws. Costa Rica, you see them playing Google Play. Do these come from um, Brazil, I think? You see them in Brazil. What is the name? Macaw. Wow. Hello, macaws. You guys are beautiful. Oh, no. Got a thunderstorm coming. Got a little Florida in the wet. summertime. It was super sunny a little bit ago. All right, so even though it's getting a little ugly outside, I'm going to show you what is in there. Hopefully, they don't kick us out. This is beautiful. So there's no fish in this part. It's all purely like a, it's like a swimming pool. Lost my dad though, he's around here somewhere. For as hot as it is outside, this water is actually really nice. Oh, wow. This is great. But the water where the fish are, 
freezing cold. Not bad though. You get used to it. What are you doing, Mo? I'm taking a break. Taking a break. If you ever go down this lazy river at Discovery Cove, wear a, a vest like this, or bring yourself one of the pool noodles, just so you can float, it's nice. And then like, just do this. And there's a nice current. Did you just steal that? Yeah, that, I threw a kid underneath, dude. <laughs> hey, this actually works. Works, huh? Yeah. So that waterfall is separating that aviary and you go under there and you're around all these cool tropical birds. Oh, we're gonna go through it. And you can get out and feed them. Oh, cool. We're gonna go through. This is gonna be fun. Oh no, I'm gonna get my hat wet. I'm gonna get my hat wet too, I guess. Oh. This bird pooped on Mo right now. I don't even know if you can hear me. So I just went under a huge waterfall. So the mics are probably filled with water. Look at him, he's chilling. Look at it, babe. Oh. Oh my god. Oh wow. So yeah, you can get out if you like. And they have huh? like little cups of fruit and stuff that you can feed the animals and they're very tame. They'll come right up to you and eat right from your hand. It's super cool. Alright, we're going back under another one. Woo! Done. This place is magical. It's literally like the coolest place. All right, hang on. Got a little smudge on you. Okay, much better. Before we got in, we were looking all over for my dad and my stepmom and my little brother, and they were MIA. So we were looking for them. We didn't know that they actually went inside of the river without us. Bro, well, imagine having your own lazy river at your house at the safe haven ranch one day we're gonna do this again yeah as soon as this is over we're gonna get back on and just circle around again <laughs> 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 mo said there's a cannon underwater yes right there let me see here oh wow that's cool you totally see it that's mine i left it here <laughs> Oh, nice. How romantic! <laughs> do not screenshot this and do not post it everywhere. Okay. <laughs> ah. Ah. Name of that plant over there? I was just told it's called cat doo doo. <laughs> like that's uh, for real. Don't, don't real, that, this is what yeah. Tiffany loves to hear to go to sleep at night. Water? Yeah. It makes me have to go like pee five, six times in the night though. You ever look at plants and just like, you're like, whoa. I mean, look at these. I mean, it looks like somebody painted this. This is so cool. What are these called, Dad? Cotons. Cotons? Crotons. Cro croutons. Crotons. <laughs> <laughs> What is she doing? <laughs> I think there's something wrong with Dixie. So we had a great time at that water park, Discovery Cove. Just brought back Mo. He went to the airport a little bit ago. Always awesome hanging out with my buddy Mo. He came all the way out here to spend some time with me during a difficult time. And it just, I don't know, it meant the world to me. Love you, Mo. Make sure you uh, spam Mo on what a great guy he is, okay? Just remind him because he really is a great person, a brother to me. Anyways, we're doing some stuff here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Um, I brought all their little spools over here, the goats. My neighbors gave me tires. I still got tires over there. I got tires over there. I mean, we got tires everywhere. It's going to be a little while before I put their little obstacle course together. But I do want to show you some. My buddy Matt came here. Uh, yesterday while we were out of town and built this really cool fence for me I did help out a little bit but he did most of the work can't take all the credit here but I'm gonna show you that we have a huge area for the chickens and for the ducks so the animals are always scratching themselves on the fences or trying to scratch themselves on the trees so saw a couple YouTube videos where some farmers have used these guys so I took the poles off and I'm gonna attach these to some of the fence posts and especially miss piggy she loves like like this is going to be great 
for scratching like for the cows, the goats, I mean really for everybody, including the dogs. Let's attach these, see how much they like them. Drill a couple holes. We've attached one so far. What are you doing, Gracie? You're gonna use this too? So I'm gonna put two of them here. That way the cows can reach. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's great. See? Just rock back and forth. Doesn't oh that my feel gosh. good? Would you not feel good? Check it out, bro. Oh, Johnny's gonna twerk on it. Oh, oh my animals ain't gonna like it anymore. Off. It's gonna have that stench to it. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> marked my scent on it. Johnny's testing it out for us here. Completed. Oh, Does that feel good? It feels great. Get all the dead <laughs> skin off. <laughs> oh, she feels so good. Oh, she feels so good, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, she piggy. You're going to love it so much. Oh, my goodness. Watch oh. up, watch up. So here is the brand new chicken area. You can see it's about maybe double the size of what they had last time. This area was just kind of temporary. Now, I don't have to worry about them getting through. This should help contain them a little bit better and keep them safe and provide them a nice run area while at the same time being protected by the dogs and the llamas. Wow, so I just finished up a bunch of yard work. Got a family shindig happening today. You know, family, friends, got this huge water slide behind me and did get some uh, tables and chairs and this really cool gazebo. I'll introduce you here in a little bit. But I wanted to show you something. Yesterday when I was doing some work on the farm, I accidentally pinched my finger with like a nail. Actually, it was a screw. When I'm looking at it today, it's in shape of a heart. I don't know if you could see that very well. So when I showed this to Tiffany, she was like, you know, your mom was a diabetic and they usually have to prick their fingers like that. So I feel like it was a sign from my mom. So, I mean, it could be a, a weird coincidence, but just want to share that with you. It's cool, I'm really missing my mom. And I know that if you've ever lost a loved one, or I mean, if you've ever lost a parent, because I mean, I've lost plenty of loved ones, I've lost plenty of friends over the years, but losing a parent is, it's definitely different. And it's a type of hurt, especially a mom. Like that was my first love. And uh, I don't want to talk too much about my mom, but yeah, I miss her and my heart goes out to anybody that's lost a mother or even a father. I'm still fortunate enough to have my father around. He's supposed to be coming today too. I know we hung out, you know, at the water park yesterday, but uh, anyways, I got all these coolers I got to clean up. Tiffany went to the store to get a couple things. I have everybody that's showing up today bringing a dish, a bunch of flies. Get away. And this happens in just an hour. It's gotta be 100 degrees outside. This is the hottest I've ever felt it here in Florida. But my, my, my. There's the big gazebo. Put a fan there for cooling off or to help cool off. All right, turn that on. Hey, we got some water now. Look at that. These are a bunch of weeds that we pulled. Now I looked some of these up, supposedly, the goats really love this kind of weed. There's some that can be toxic, so you have to do your research, but all these guys can go back there with the animals. Easy way to get rid of it. Instead of running it over with the lawnmower and wasting it, you know, it's like free food. I think they like it. Yummy, yummy. Here comes Macy. I got a treat for you. Is that good, guys? Is that good? Dude, check it out. My cows are using the brush to scratch themselves. I think they really like it. Look at that. That makes me so happy. Had to get a closer look. This is so cute. They just love it so much. What are you doing, Lamar? Why are you eating my food? Why are you eating my food? <laughs> I guess he likes it too, huh? Hey, what are you doing? No. <laughs> what the heck? No, this is garbage. And one of Luna's bones. Oh, whoa, be fool. Someone else likes the weeds. Oh yeah. That's why I came over here, for you guys. 
Yummy. Miss Piggy, I just filled that up with water. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the Picuzzi. I'm sure that feels so good for her though. It's like nice cold water. Got all my fans here. There's my Tia Ellie over there. Ali Lee, how you doing guys? My nieces, my homies over there, Teresa and Al is rolling. Got my homies over here, my bros. Security. What's up, baby? My, my brother, my brother Robert, Kyle, Phil. I, I forgot your name. Justin. 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 It goes Justin over there. It's the, just Robin. The bearded duos. Chevy, baby. Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. This nice. It's my boy Al's new vehicle. Z71, baby. Very nice. Thank I you. love it. Thank you, thank you. A lot of hard work right here. Yo, we've been having such a great time here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Everybody's happy. My family's happy. These guys are my family. I, I just, it's been a great day. So, uh, thank you. I'm glad you could come along and enjoy this day with us. Gotta go for now, but before you leave, give me kiss. Peace.